would know Ben Gillies as drummer and co-founder of one of Australia's most successful bands, Silverchair, but he's now stepped out from behind the kit to be front man of his new solo outfit, Bento, and he joins us here today. Ben, welcome to BPM. Thank you for having me. Now, let's start at the beginning. I think it was in 2010 or so. How did Bento first come about? Basically, I just had a whole heap of ideas that I had uh, built up over the years and I'd logged them in like my dictaphone and um, on my Pro Tool sessions and I just called a friend and went in to consolidate and I didn't go in there thinking I was making a record, it just kind of turned into one. And where did the name Bento come from? Well, I spoke uh, between myself and management, we were kind of massaging a few different names and we really wanted to incorporate my name and uh, it was like bend and bent, but I thought it sounded a little bit too like someone having a bit too much of this. So um, yeah, bento just seemed to fit because, you know, it's a bit of a taste of everything. And I think the music for now anyway is very, there's a lot of different flavors. Yeah. So it just kind of, it just felt really right. But um, yeah, but I loved it. Now we've of course fallen in love with you as a drummer over the last 20 years. So what was it kind of like kind of getting out from behind the kit and being a front man? It was, it's very nerve wracking and I'm still quite nervous about <laughs> it. But um, I don't know, I've always been someone that figures that you've just got to you just got to face your fears and just do it. It's something I've always, it's not something I've always wanted to do like with my heart and soul, but I guess it's something I've always wanted to try and then, but my experience so far is I love it. And um, it's nice just being in the driver's seat and being the, the guy that can call all the shots as well. Debut record is called Diamond Days. Can you give us an idea of the feel of the record? It's like rock and roll, it's like rock, it's like there's pop elements, there's like all those little dancey elements and I don't know, it's very like, uh, no two songs are the same, but it does seem to have some kind of, um, you know, cohesiveness. Yeah. I don't know how that happens. The single that's come from the record first is actually the title track, Diamond Days. What can you tell yep. us about that song? Uh, Diamond Days is just a song about realising one's potential or finding that little spark inside when everything seems lost. These are the diamond days, my vision of golden sand. The video for Diamond Days is really so cute. Yeah. Can you tell me about the kind of meaning behind that? Um, yeah, it's it's basically about the little kid and um, first you think he's a little rat bag, yeah. like what's he up to? But then at the end, like, it all makes sense that he's, like, actually stealing back memories that these people have lost. So, um, yeah, that was the kind of, that was the concept behind it. I've been lucky enough to listen to the whole album and I love it. I think my favourite track is probably Glue. Yep. Do you have a favourite track? Well, you, what, there's a song called uh, Miss My Mind. Floyd elements and it's a bit kind of old school 70s, a bit trippy like and it has a big rock out section at the end where everyone just gets to have fun yeah and uh, that's a bit of a that's a bit of a favorite it's a bit of an older song too I've had that kind of laying around for maybe four or five years wow, okay so it's nice to finally get it off my chest and yeah it's, get it's it a fun there. one yeah now as opposed to Silverchair Bento was a true indie band in the truest sense of the word how yep. have you kind of enjoyed sort of overseeing every single step along the way yeah it's great I guess I mean Silverchair is such a a big machine and I mean it's I mean it's awesome and I love I love playing with those guys and it's a kind of different experience but to it's almost coming back to the start and being very ground roots and um, but it has been nice you can see every little detail like down to you know the color of an envelope that's posted to someone wow. well, you know as much as you want yeah and um, it's something I'd love, you know, in Silverchair, I'd love to, you know, we'd, we would love to do that, but it's just, it's almost impossible, yeah. you know, there's some things you just can't see over, but yeah, it's a nice, it's refreshing. 
And is there a part that you found particularly challenging? Yeah, just the workload. Yeah. Like, you know, you could, if you really wanted to, you could wake up in the morning and be on emails right through to when you go to sleep. You actually have to... Switch off. Yes, you actually have to stop yourself and go, OK, I need to take a break and I need to go and have a drink of water or do whatever <laughs> else it is you want to do. But, um, yeah, so that's the biggest thing that's been, like, yeah, shocking to me. But, I, you know, I've embraced it and I love it, so it's great. And quite a uh, collection of musicians have been involved with Bento. Can you tell us about who those guys are? Yeah, they're just a mix of guys that are like friends. And uh, we, what, how we actually did it in the studio, um, we'd just be working away. Myself and Eric, the, we co-produced together. And uh, if we needed, say, a keyboardist, we'd just get on the phone and ring, start bringing friends. And Love basically it. it was whoever was in town and close by, they'd be like, yeah, we'll come by and we'll play. And, um, but out of that, we did get kind of staple guys that, you know, featured on the record, which is Tom Rawl from Papa Vs Pretty, yep. um, Scott Alpin who did the voice, and he played in Silver Jet, yep. and, um, and Dave Symes, the bass player, he was uh, Missy Higgins' music director wow. for a while. So yeah, they, they were kind of like the, the, the main guys that meshed it together, but there was still, you know, a colourful mix of other guys in there too, but yeah, it was just, you know, it was, we thought of the album as a bit of a like a patchwork quilt that yeah. we could massage, you know. So because it wasn't really, there were lots of old ideas, we just, you know, we could take anything and just say, oh, we want to push it that way, I'll go here, or, you know, we just lived in the moment. And Ben, what about touring or festivals or, you know, an album tour? Anything coming up in the future? Nothing planned. I'd really like to. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I guess, Stepping out and doing something different other than drumming is uh, would be really fun, like, or very nerve-wracking, but a lot of fun. But at the moment, we're just concentrating on you know getting getting the awareness out there, and um, because it is like starting again. Yeah. So, uh, but maybe in the new year, we'll see. And then speaking of kind of awareness and getting it out there, what's the best way for Bento fans to kind of stay in touch with you and keep across what's going on with the band? I just saw the social media stuff seems yeah. to be, you know, we're on Twitter. Good, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. I know you good are, old, I follow good old, you. Good old Twitter. <laughs> um, we Are Bento, I think, is your Twitter name. Yeah, yeah. We Are Bento, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, Twitter, Facebook, you know, we, we um, between myself and um, the team I've got around yeah. me, um, if anyone has questions, yeah, it, even if I don't answer it straight away, it, it will filter down to yeah. me eventually, or sometimes I answer things directly, so... You know, I think this day and age it is that it's important that you engage with your people, your fans and people yeah. that like your music, you know. People want to have that conversation. Yeah, brilliant. Well, the record is incredible. I absolutely love it. And you can download it at bigpondmusic.com or stream it via MOG. Ben Gillies, Bento, congratulations and best of luck with all. Thanks, Kylie. Surrounded by heroes.